Hi, today I want to talk about the differences between an LLC, a domain, and a trademark. Uh, and this is the usual disclaimer. This is not to be considered as legal advice, uh, but it's also going to be very helpful for you. So the LLC is the business registration. <coughs> that gives you the permit to have a business, to do business, to sell and buy things, and to have the tax registration and employees and everything. And it's usually very um, local. It's more, or not very local, but more local. It's for a certain region in the country in general. It can be different in your country, uh, but that's how it is. And you also write down what kind of business you're going to have. Mm, and yeah, that's it. And when you come to the uh, domain, domain name, that anyone can register any domain name. You just make up a name and you just register. And <laughs> if it's free, it's yours, you know? And it doesn't have anything to do with if you have the LLC, the business registration, or if you have the trademark for it. However, if you get a domain name that you really like, I would also say that you would want to have the trademark for it. Because if you have the trademark for a name, you might be able to shut down the domain for it. Uh, so <coughs> you, if uh, <coughs> someone else owns the trademark, they can shut you down. Um, so that brings us to the trademark registration. The trademark re registration is uh, usually a, a national registration. Uh, you can also do for different regions. You can, for instance, do a European trademark instantly instead of going through Sweden and then the European. You can go for an European first. Um, and it lasts for 10 years and then you renew it. Uh, you also protect it by uh, the classification system. So there's, if you have different services and goods, there's classes that will describe that. And under every class, there's also um, uh, different descriptions. And you want to have the, as many, I would go for as many descriptions as usual as possible, because then you will cover more, but it needs to be the correct descriptions and goods and services for your business. <coughs> And now <coughs> I kind of stuck it in the wrong uh, end, but a trademark, you can register your business name as a trademark, but it doesn't say it's not the same as having the LLC registration, right? It's three different separate registrations. And also um, you can have a product or a service that you want to have an uh, own trademark for. And you also can have different, uh, a shape of something, or you can register a color or um, sometimes even a pattern, even if it's more uh, common to do a design registration for patterns. But if it's very specific for your brand, you can do a trademark for that too. Uh, so with the trademark, there's like different registrations. And also uh, if you have a national registration for a trademark, you can um, decide that you want to take it to other countries too, and you can register for that later. You, if you first get it approved in your country, then you have something that calls the priority. So you have six months priority uh, to apply to other countries. And then your first filing date will be the valid one. So even if someone would like take your name and register it like three months later, your filing date will still be the one that's uh, getting a priority. I hope this helps you. And if you want to have more advice about how intellectual property works, um, uh, please su subscribe. And have you have any questions or comments, please comment below. Bye.